I don't like doing this. I think this is ridiculous. It's 2014. 14. So I don't like to have to call call meetings like this or have these conversations and whatnot because this is not a part of my life, my daily life. This is not something that I like to engage in or anything like that. But we're gonna have a question. We're gonna have a little discussion about racial sensitivity, apparently, because some people feel some sort of way, and I cannot comment because. I don't get it. And that's not anything other than I just don't understand. Because I've never felt any sort of way. Well, maybe once at a strip club in Newark, I couldn't get a drink and I felt some sort of way. Other than that, I don't know. So if someone was, if someone here felt something and before, I, I've already heard this telephone game going, what was said, I think this was said, or this was said, or this was said. I just want to squash it now. Okay? What was said, and what was done, and what it may appear, and what have you. So we all know, we went and sat here in court, and there was a trial, and some people sat out there and gave a sentencing. Okay? And it was some anger management, and it was some tilling in the garden. I personally wasn't a part of that I just want to let that be known not for any other reason than I'm impartial and that's why I'm holding this so I heard Mike kind of uh, raise his voice a little bit so I kind of want to start with him and I want to see what the hell is going on because I was having a great conversation about jet skis and dirt bikes and eating cake with my dude here before we were interrupted yep. so Rude. Mike do you mind yeah, so again, like I've said a thousand times, the reason I did the thing in a trial format was to teach people like how to fact find with some form of objectivity. I'm sorry that you guys insisted on having a punishment. I think I said about a hundred times, I don't believe in punishment, nor should we have like a formal sentencing with a punishment. I was merely trying to establish in my government that there's a difference between, you know, uh, general fact finding and just like rampant sort of he said, she said stuff. That's why I did it in a trial setting. Uh, with that said, when we did the trial, I said I wasn't going to be a part of the sentencing. I thought that Aaron did, in fact, threaten some form of violence, and that's what was the conclusion from that fact-finding mission. I wasn't thrilled with the idea of having manual labor. Most jurisdictions in the United States have banished man manual labor as a punishment because it is cruel and unusual. Our history's had a long and, and very dark very dark system of punishment where typically minorities are public are punished in a very nasty negative way and it's not just minorities it's anybody who commits a criminal act but especially minorities it's really nasty today when i was sitting out there it kind of dawned on me very quickly that visually what was going on was extremely insensitive i don't think it was thought of I don't think people like really recognize the like sort of the nasty implications of what was going on, but visually it was very apparent to me. And since we're working in a medium of visual audio communication here and it's being broadcast to the world, I think it's like despicable. And I can't like on my good faith, I can't sit there and say nothing about it. I I think it's like it was probably thoughtless. I don't I, and like uh, people said, well, yeah, I'm here too. I'm here too. But when it's connected to punishment, it just dra drags off like a lot of nasty shit that's been going on in our country since it started. Was I overreacting? I don't think so. Like I said, this is being broadcast on the internet worldwide or at least within the United States. And whether you guys thought of it or not, like you're gonna be implicated in that representation. And I didn't wanna be a part of it. Furthermore, I don't think like it's fair that I have to be a part of a system where that kind of stuff is going on. You know, like one of the things I don't discuss is what I did for a living and partially because I don't want to like lose my legal license. But the last year and a half, I worked a lot on like immigration rights cases and like cases dealing with voting rights. And one of the things that you see time and time again is public ignorance. 
It's not that people don't care, they just don't realize that subtle implications of systems such as establishing manual labor for punishment, what it does to our society. And in the immigration case, they were simple. Hey, if you want to rent a house, you have to show us that you can legally live here. Geez, to most people, that sounds fine. It's like if you want to buy a car, you have to show us. You, But the implications of that are so restrictive in our country that's based on like freedom. And again, the implications of having somebody go out and dig a ditch. Yeah, you call it tilling, but there was like an axe being swung in the fucking middle of the day in like 80 degree heat. And to me, it's just like completely absurd. So that's why I got pissed off and threw the axe over the fence. I w I'm sorry if I was trying to, if I was attacking people personally. I think I was, and that was wrong of me. But I, I'll apologize for that. I didn't mean to attack anybody personally. I just think that the visual implications were so severe that somebody needed to say something. Um, thank you. Next thing I want to do is go to actually whose government it is at the moment and who kind of was in charge of what I think was the sentencing, and that's Chris. So I, I want to hear from you and what was behind your kind of thought process. Uh, since the beginning, we've tried a few different ways of handling problems and it seems like nothing works. Uh, these crimes are committed again and again, and um, Mike, even yourself said, why does anybody have to follow our effing rules if nobody has to, if nothing happens to them? You've blown up on that case quite a few times. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying maybe this wasn't the best, but I took that when I was, before I was coming into government and I was going to make these punishments. Before any court, before these courts, I had tilling and I had dishes in mind. Um, just so happened to be, Josh and Aaron went into the system and my punishment, my productive repercussion, I tried telling you guys several times, is this. And I said, and we stated in the court, that there would be a team of people that goes out with them so it's not so looked at as so terrible because it's not supposed to be terrible. It's just supposed to be something that helps out and makes you think twice maybe before you do something. We needed something, and I'm not backing down from that. We do need something. Um, I don't think racially. I just don't. I, I feel like we're so far past that, and it, I don't know. It kind of freaked me out when you got like that because I didn't see it like that at all. And um, if this hurts anybody's feelings, I truly apologize, but I had meant it in no sort of way. And the time of the day was not my choice. This was pushed. All right. So I don't think anyone actually thought that there was anything motivated behind Chris. I mean, we all know Chris. And it just is what it is. Now we're going to get to what I heard through the rumor mill. And we're going to speak about that. And that's kind of what you said. So if you want to go ahead and speak. Yeah, I'd love to talk. I am right with you. I don't believe in punishment at all. But it's Chris's government, and I think everything should be tried. That doesn't mean that I can't have the right to dissent. And I'm going to use an example from Nazi Germany, the epitome of punishment, right? And the Nazis made the Jews wear an armband that says they're Jewish, so everyone knew to treat them poorly. But with the Germans with ethics, what did they do? They put armbands on themselves because they said it ain't cool doing that. So if we have a punishment, we make someone do something, I'm going to go do it with them. And you know what? If we all do whatever it is, then it's no punishment at all. It's saying, yes, this is for you, but we're willing to do it too. Because if I tell, if I'm a boss of a crew, I'll do anything on that crew that I'm telling somebody else to do. You go clean out the janitor, I'll go clean out the toilets. What I was suggesting to you is instead of throwing a tantrum and being mad, join in, wear that armband too. Because then it takes the sting out of it. You have your integrity and there's no punishment. I feel like you're living for out there. I don't care what anybody else thinks out there. Let's do something different here. And to do that, I'm willing to try all the systems that don't work. The punishment system doesn't work. Let's prove it to ourselves so we can do something different. What they think is none of my business. I want to be um, here with you all. History lessons aside, and I kind of didn't follow that one because I think that was, you know, was the atrocious. Band? Yeah, uh, when I think of that, I think of pure evil and hate. Um, but what was, what was said, what was actually said, because that's what, that's what stuck in my mind when I heard something, because I was like, what happened? And then I kind of heard it and I was like, something about whip made box. me think. I said, if there was a shaming box and someone's on it, I'm going to be on it next to them. If somebody's getting whipped here, I'm going to be getting whipped with them. 
That's what okay. I said. So now, now we all know mm -hmm. what the deal is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that goes to extreme insensitivity. I think visualizing now with punishment conversations and dialogue talking about being whipped is just like atrocious. And I again, I don't think you're doing it maliciously, but it's absurd to me to use language like that, like in this circumstance. It's crazy. It's like insane. And yeah, I'm going to bring in what I learned on the other side of the mountains. That's why I'm here. That's why you're cutting fucking arrows. Like, you're not here, like, uh, in a vacuum. You're bringing what you learned. And I'm just trying to explain, and I'm sorry I'm angry about it, like, these, uh, like, insensitive implications and what they could do potentially to our organization and our society. I don't want to make the same mistakes that were made out there for hundreds of years. That's all. Thank you. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I can understand the, the, the issue with the sensitivity that, that, that does paint quite a nasty mental picture. Um, taking everything in. Um, Aaron? What's up, dude? Would you like to, uh, nothing? You want to say anything? I think it would be important. I could give two bucks. One and two. You don't care about this? What's up? Um... I'm so you opened the um, you opened up with you don't go through this a lot and um, that except somewhere in new new work or something Newark, like that yeah yeah out trying to get a burger or something I don't know trying, yeah, trying to get a drink trying to get a, a drink club, club okay I didn't get it but obviously from what you're saying that you don't go through a lot now coming from person who doesn't go through it a lot and a person who goes through it every day and it's been expressed to me when people first met me how they perceived me and they perceived me one way because of what I look like but after talking to me and after um, me showing actions then they felt differently and this has been expressed to me I go through it every day you went through it one time in Newark or something Newark Newark Okay, so I understand the sensitivity part because it's real. Even though someone doesn't go through it or they go through it once or twice, but there's people who go through it every day. And where I'm from, there's not a lot of African Americans. How, however, a lot of them are like me, but we still deal with a lot of things. And being out in the heat, I know uh, Chris didn't have anything to do with it, uh, no one here did, but being out, what it looks like visually, it does take you back. And it takes you back, and when things take you back, it brings up feelings. And those feelings, when those things come up, that's when you start getting, um, you start thinking things and feeling some kind of way about people. And it's not, you're not doing it on purpose, but it's just naturally what comes up because of a history that we had, none of us here had any control of. The only thing that we can do is change it and how we're changing it in Mike's, um, what Mike was saying is to take away from punishment. I don't like punishment. I do believe in consequences, but punishment is one thing and a consequence is another. Although they, although they go hand like side by side, but those are two different things. But I definitely think things should be done differently, but being sensitive, um, that's something that needs to people need to be aware of and it's not just a black thing or a white thing or anything it's just a people thing being human being passionate being um compassionate yes for people it's it's that type of thing not a not a race thing why did it get this far why didn't we decide that when it came down i mean why, why are we having this conversation now? I think it's beautiful. There was an issue, and immediately before the gossip started, before any kind of drama, before a separation happened, we came together and we talked it out. I think it's amazing. See, before a separation happened? <coughs> yeah, before there's like, yeah, but he's before not one a part of this. Happened? But not half it's, and half. A separation, my dude. He didn't want to talk to any of us. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty pissed off. He'll be back. Okay. I just wish that perhaps at some point in one of our meetings, we had 
several before here we could have just someone could have brought up and I, I didn't bring it up so I'm just as guilty as anybody else hold on hold, hold. Um, I was just gonna say we can we can talk about this all day um, I'd like to move forward from it I think we're all maybe in agreement that that probably isn't something we want to continue with I can't move forward until that dude is okay up there I mean this is but what I mean I'm trying to mend it gonna make him feel better I, I would like to move forward and maybe change um, how we handle things like that now. I think I think maybe just the anger management was enough. Yeah. I don't know how everybody else feels about that, but probably taking the physical labor out of it. It's just an idea, but I, I think that the anger management would be enough. I think that that's just as productive to society in making sure that people know how to handle their emotions again. The day of the trial, I suggested, when I heard the tilling and the anger management, I raised my hand and suggested yoga and meditation as an alternative, more as a consequent and not as a punishment. Something that, you know, could prevent someone from hang having an angry blow up. And um, Aaron did say, I'd rather dig for an hour. And I didn't even know he said that. I thought he was like, I'm there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. And apparently that's, I heard what not was said. And so, you know, using things that are more remediation based and not so much punishment based would be valuable for the person and for the community. I'm still unclear as to what the problem or the situation is. I mean, what happened? I wasn't around when this happened. So what, who's angry about what and why? And like, what, what's the situation here? What are we even talking about? Mike didn't like how it looked having Aaron digging in the garden in the hot and, sun. Okay, so then why is Aaron upset? Because now it is a freaking conversation about race, like as if we have a bunch of but racist people. But was here. Aaron okay with tilling the garden? Yeah, he was fine. We were tilling together, yeah, talking. It wasn't an issue until they made it an issue. It was right. not an issue. That's bottom line. Mike freaked that's the right. fuck out. And that's it wasn't what we're an talking. Issue until they made it. He an came issue. and grabbed the thing and threw it over the fence. Said, "You don't need to do it. You made it really look bad. You yep. made it look bad, and it wasn't bad." I'm I'm actually going to, before this gets bad, because I see the directions going. We're gonna end this right here, and if we want to come back to it, we can certainly come back to it. Chris, what did Mike, Aaron do? He went over the fence. Hold on, through hold he came on, back like a man to do a job. Hold on, Chris, 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 Just chill, thick skin. chill, 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 chill. But I totally think you guys can have this conversation if you'd like. But I, I don't think I want to make this a group setting because I just don't like the the way this is going at this point. You know what I'm saying? Do so, you, can we come up with a different solution though? solution is done he's gonna have his anger management and call it a day are we gonna leave then the the tilling not part of a consequence no no, <coughs> no not if we're could we be supplement moving. nikki's yoga next time well, that right. yeah, that's, that's next, time that's a next gonna, time thing if there's a trial but next yeah, time I mean, it's gonna be different circumstance different jury like different government probably you know? so then he's found guilty but i got the same punishment he did it doesn't make any sense no it doesn't yeah but he got on reprimand so if anything happens again you didn't that's a big thing. I, I mean, think. if I was guilty, I would have been out there digging too. And I don't, I don't see things in black and white. And if I was supposed to do dishes or dig, I'd do it too. And I don't think, I think it was made into a bigger deal than it is. Chompkins? This, this is too big of a deal. I'm, yeah. I'm not a fucking racist person, man. I, I don't probably. think anybody thinks you are, Chris. Um, I'm just going to end this now because we could sit here and talk about this for hours. I just, at this point, I don't think this is the time to do it you know and mm. that's you what happens with racism and not racism but when you talk, start talking about racism it makes people all ooh, and they don't want to talk about it but it's a problem that exists so it doesn't exist yeah, but, it, it doesn't, it, it but, but we don't have it yeah. but it's but i'm saying in general it's a problem that people do not want to speak look how everyone's like ooh. oh here's the problem here's the deal amanda do you think anybody here is racist? Not at all. Okay, so this is utopia. But not to be able to but have it, a conversation it, about it. And this, everything that our lives consist of, consists of in these walls here, mm -hmm. that's a world problem. Mm -hmm. That's not a, our problem. Maybe we've gotten past that. Maybe we have strong enough minds and strong enough beliefs at this point that we are far beyond racism. Mm -hmm. And that may be through who they pick to come you here, would think which that. I think is awesome. Yep. You, know you would think that. I use the example of the law cases I used to work on. Somebody was handed a piece of paper and said, hey, do you do you, are you allowed to live in this country or not? I don't think anybody here would think that's a big deal. 
I'm not talking about blatant racism like you're walking around with like anger about another like ethnic group. I'm talking about like institutional things that come up all the time in our present society and most of us don't even bat an eye at it. But the implications of certain things are racist and you create and what we created was a scenario that I believed was extremely racist. Was anybody here, is anybody here outwardly racist? No. Was there an institutional creation of racism? Yes. And it didn't just have to do with Aaron. It would have had to do with anybody that, that received that punishment. I wouldn't have been happy with. But especially given the sensitivity uh, of our country's history and the, in the history uh, of the world, like that looked really bad. And I guarantee you, save you and I did it in the wrong way because I got angry but if anything I'm trying to make you guys recognize it so that when you go home and people go boy that was really interesting how you guys handled that issue you fucking racist you're not shocked take it overboard I, that? I, taking it overboard I don't I don't I do think that this is a topic that we should give some consideration too, only because this isn't the first time guys that word's been thrown around here you guys have done it a few times now aaron and josh have had a racial a racial conversation a few times we can't keep going like this because we're scared to talk about it every time it's going to keep it's, happening it we, up already well, we need to be adults and, and deal with it now because it keeps coming up it keeps resurfacing and we keep going that's ridiculous. It's being blown out of proportion, but yet it keeps happening. Are we going to be adults and face it head on and, and acknowledge that this is existent here? Yes. We need to do that. Second, I don't want to sit here and everybody speak a piece and us not come to a resolution that we're all content with. I don't want us to go, oh, forget it. I don't want to talk about it right now. Well, and how then are we, we leave. Have the conversation when the dude's up there. Yes. But we. But he, that's his choice. That's his he, choice. He, he has a group. Away. And need to ready. fix this so that so this doesn't happen ready. again. If that more supplementing to yeah, with yoga, I'm happy with that. I hear you. I feel I, like I, that's I, a pretty reasonable. And I like I agree with Hex because of the fact that obviously, like having like you said, an institutionalized like punishment system is making people unhappy. Of the fact that like now we've painted ourselves into this corner, and also the fact I'll just go ahead and jump the gun with it. The fact that nobody seemed to bat an eye about the institutional sexism of women do the dishes, men till in the field. Nobody talked about that, you know, and it's it could potentially back us into the same corner. Well, I don't, under I don't understand what you're talking about. So when, when Chris, when Chris and stepped threatened. in and wanted, you know, and obviously I don't want to like oh, blame I, everything I on him, that. you know, like because I get why he wants there to be something productive. Like when I did understand. this conversation happen? I didn't even get this conversation. It, he said the women had to do the dishes during during our jury meeting. He was saying like he was talking about how there need to be oh, there needs we to be punishment, there needs to be repercussions. I didn't even pick up on that. And that if you're a man, you till, and if you're a woman, uh, you do the dishes. That's sexist. Yeah. And so, let's find so I would rather nip all this in the bud before even that happens. Mm -hmm. We so we can't we keep running away from problems because we're afraid of touching you guys. That's why we're here is is to remedy the things that exist out there because. We are human, and we are all very different, and, and it doesn't matter on what plane we are, these problems are going to happen, and unless we handle them differently than they're being dealt with out there, they're going to continue to be a problem in here. And I don't want to see that happen to us. I think we're better than that. I think that's why we were picked. I think we just have to be mindful of the decisions we make and how they might play out. Like, you always have to look two steps ahead. I, I know nobody here intentionally is trying to be sexist or racist or anything like that but at least have a conversations of the implications and sometimes we're not going to see them until they're visually acting out and other times somebody's going to be like whoa nelly you can't do that and this is why i think it's simple and it's like okay so a new idea is going to come up let's have at least some like rational thought about like how this is going to play out especially when it comes to sensitive issues like punishment. And like Cal said, he doesn't even want punishment. I don't even want punishment. But like, if we go there or go to some other thing that will become institutionalized within our society, we need to understand the ramifications. It makes perfect rational sense on its face that one way to punish somebody is to make them do chores around here. But there are these like, dire consequences at least i see them as dire consequences in playing that out and the only reason i see it is because i learned it and i studied it 
you really ought not to make somebody engage in physical activity as a punishment. It's like punishment equaling physical activity. Bad idea. And that's why I've been saying it from the beginning. Another thing that we've started to learn in our society, nonviolent crime, punishment equals incarceration. We finally figured it out. On face value, it makes sense. Hey guys, we don't want you to do bad things. So we're gonna threaten you with punishment and it's going to like stop you from doing it. We as a society has come, have come to the conclusion, nonviolent crimes equals in long-term incarceration. Bad idea, it fucks up our society. And I studied that too. And I think people bring a lot of cool things where they can say, doing this here, institutionalizing this here equals this. And, and I would say, geez, that's a great idea. And Nikki's gonna say, this is what I learned. This is what I know from my world. And, and I think we all need to be receptive of that. And like, it's a simple thing. It just takes some thought. Does that make sense? Or am I just totally out of my mind? Because I might be totally out of my mind. I'm not sure. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think that no one saw it that way. And no. when the seed was planted, it was like, and I know that I feel really down and hurt and sad. And like the energy of this whole place is really down. And like, it's sad to like, everyone's moping around today. And maybe it was even before this happened. And just in general, like this just added on to like the negative energy. And, you know, I'm actually happy you brought it up because what if we just let that happen and didn't even discuss it? And so in the end- You would end, have found out about it when you got home. Right, and so in the end, I do appreciate you bringing in your outside knowledge. And that goes for anyone speaking up about seeing something that is obviously making them feel uncomfortable because we all have different upbringings and we've all been conditioned in different ways. And unless we speak out about any injustice we see, it's going to happen. And we don't really know how it looks to other people or even to each other. And so I know seeing that after Mike said, I felt really bad. And I said to Aaron, don't do it, stop. And he said, I said I was gonna do something, so now I'm gonna do it. I'm glad I wasn't here. So I don't think we meant it to I'm be a, a racist thing. thing. No, not no, at all. I know, that's that's, let me just, this yeah. is just tying the ends together. I don't think that we meant this to be a racist thing. Um, I don't think we meant it to be a sexist thing. Now that we see that that's where this can go, right. let's fix it before it keeps happening. And let's have the same, um, if you want to call it repercussion or whatever you want to call it, um, comeuppance for however we decide in court, make it the same across the board, men, women, age, it doesn't matter. Um, I think that um, the anger management is productive and the meditation is soothing. I think coupled together, they're a pretty nice um, reform, if you will just moving forward does and did, I mean can we maybe like talk about that now just like to get the ball rolling on a positive note I still have to come back to this when we had our whole group I feel like so that's a good ending point I mean I'm comfortable walking away now mm -hmm. right. because it we put it in a perspective where people can understand where I hope everyone is understanding and uh but it, it, it is a real issue that we try not to uh, focus on or see. We try to keep the blind eye. But um, now that we have food for thought, now we can think about something that's going to be a little more productive and a little more that's going to help rather than hinder. And um, I'm comfortable walking away from this conversation now. But beforehand, I felt like, no, we need to talk about this. It's something that happens. But I mean, to make a decision without the whole group it's kind of is not a good thing we want everyone's input because of because this is something so sensitive and so serious we need everyone's input and if they're not ready and I and I hope Chris isn't hurt behind this because in no means do I think he's a racist or anything um, it's just the visual part and Aaron not wanting to continue in the conversation we should just give them both time and then come back to it now. We're at that point. Mm -hmm. Maybe hug after this, I don't know. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy Amanda just said that. Like, I would love to do like a connecting exercise with the whole group that does not involve any kind of talking. Like, Dedeker and Hex have been a part of, you know, some of the stuff that's happened and it causes like an immediate shift with everyone involved and like, it can be optional, of course, but I really think that with the energy being so low and down, doing some kind of connecting <coughs> exercise 
could be really positive for the group. And so I will, what time is it? We can break for like a half hour. And if you're open to doing it, um, let's meet just right in this open area where yoga. I got Lefty coming soon for the tractor. Yeah, that's fine. So you can not participate. Um, but just something to bring this place into a more positive light and no talking is involved. So you don't have to say a word. Okay, right. thank Break. you everybody. Yeah.